Hello and welcome to another episode of What the Fuck Moments in Manga and Anime After Dark. Today I want to talk about the one volume and done Boys Love Manga Midnight Rain. And uh, she's got some trigger warnings. So if any of this is not your flavor of spice or if you're under 18, please scroll away. Okay, so this tall, dark, and Markiplier looking gentleman, funny enough, is named Ethan. The real will get that one. Ethan lives in a little shit pot apartment in the seedy part of town where it just always seems to be raining. One fine day, he is at the laundromat. He meets Mike. Ethan actually then recognizes Mike. He was a poor schmuck that was getting kicked around the alleyway behind his apartment. By a bunch of other dudes <laughs> just getting bounced around like a playground ball at recess. Anyway, the two chit chat and then go about their separate ways. Ethan's a little bit upset that he doesn't see Mike around after that. That is, until Mike suddenly shows up at his door with a brand new hole in his side. Ethan takes him in, gets him all patched up. He's a true Florence Nightingale. <laughs> so much so that uh, the Florence Nightingale effect kind of kicks in. And uh, yeah, Ethan oversteps his boundaries with Mike. Why are we still doing this in BL? Stop it! Uh, well, at least Ethan gets clocked for it. Because you see, uh, Mike is kind of like a junkyard dog. He'll bark, he'll bite, <laughs> he's just really not trusting of humans. And, uh, Ethan's the opposite. He's like a big goofy lap dog. So naturally, whenever Mike gets his dander up and he decides to come out swinging, Ethan doesn't fight back and Mike doesn't get it. He's like, why, why, why are you staring at me with your stupid face? Why, why are you not fighting back? And going with the dog analogy, uh, Ethan's kind of like Doug from Up. I don't fight back because you saved me, Mike. You have trust issues, so I know that when you lash out, it's because you're scared. It's okay, Mike. I like you anyway. Yeah, it's true about what Ethan said about Mike saving him. There's a lot going on in his life, and he was debating whether or not he wanted to just end it all. That's when Mike showed up, and uh, yeah, no pressure there on Mike, right? But honestly, Mike feels safe there. You know, Ethan doesn't have a lot, but he shares what he has. And, uh, Mike, you know, maybe he's not so upset about being housebroken. Damn, I'm sorry. Anyway, I tend to give away too much in one-shots, so I'll just leave it there. This one is a little bit heavy on the subject matter, but the characters both have a lot of personality, so it does even it out with some lightheartedness. So if those trigger warnings do not bother you, I definitely recommend.